This is long enough. For you, it's long enough. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Mick. I'm Mike. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We are going to be pulling from our Barbie haul that we posted not too long ago. Exactly. Yes. And be opening the long anticipated Miss Teresa. Model, Teresa. And she's amazing. Okay, Mike has <laughs> like a very I, I I dislike the way this Teresa doll looks, so I'm not feeling her at all. But Mick is loving her. I love her. So. In a weird way, I think she's like super intriguing. I'm not gonna show her in the plastic box just because it, the glare is way too intense, but okay, she's beyond a ball. I don't know, I just like her. I think that if you rework her a little bit, so. Yeah, she needs a lot of help, I think. Here she is without the plastic. This way you guys can get a better look at what she looks like in her box. I don't know, I think. Overall, I'm really happy with her. I think it was a really cool thing to done with Teresa. It made her look really different with the dark hair. And, I don't know. The top is the one, actually, maybe the top can become a dress. Ooh. Ah. Yeah, these little white boots. The boots are awesome. I think the boots are like one of the main reasons I wanted this doll. They're cute looking. Also, I got her for a steal. I think she was $30. I need to find Summer now. And the annoying thing is that he had Summer. And- uh, Did he? He did have her and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I was getting a few things and I'm like, I don't like, I didn't love her the most, but now that I have these two, those two, and then also because I love like the, the fashions that they come with and the detailing and like just, I don't know, the style of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just annoyed, but maybe he will still have her at the next show. So here's Teresa. I will start with her face. She has features that I've never really seen before on a Teresa doll as I was mentioning, so I think it's a really cool concept with the black hair, like her hair is black. It's jet black. Like very black, and it's cool. It's actually tied up here with a little elastic, which I didn't notice. So that's a little, little cute detail. She does have bangs, which is nice, and gold hoop earrings. Look at that face, I like her. Her makeup is pretty neutral. She does have a little bit of green around her eye and a soft pink lip. And she comes with a silk feeling top that has this black ribbon tied around the neck. And it's long enough to possibly even be a dress maybe? I'm not really sure. We'll have to see what it looks like without the denim. She comes with this really cool handbag that has a lot of detailing on it, which was really nice to see. Does it open? It does not open, but it does oh, seem like... Look. Yeah, it's just for the look, but like with the chain and the... The little buckle, I think that's a really cool idea. The denim capris are similar to the ones Barbie came with, and they're cuffed around the knee, and they do have pockets at the back, which is really nice. And this is a little unique, I guess, the sock, and then she has these slingback, lime green, type of like pointed heels. Mm -hmm. It's like an interesting look. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of cool. So then she also comes with extra accessories, so the standard Barbie brush. She comes with a little Barbie coat hanger. And she comes with a pair of white boots, which are actually adorable. Kind of like the nicest thing that comes in her fashions. Um, a pair of sunglasses that are in white as well. Pretty standard. Almost similar to Barbie's shape. And for her clothing, she comes with a pair of leggings that have an elastic waistband. And they're very plain, very plain Jane leggings. And then a lovely kind of like bolero jacket, but that's very like, it's like very cottony. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's just gonna go over like the main top that she has. And she also comes with a pack of um, elastics, the uh, Barbie shoe box, and her top model portfolio, which is the same as Barbie's. See, it does look kind of cute as a dress. What do you think? I think it's cute, I like it. Let's throw a little belt around there. So here's a top model magazine with her on the cover and on the inside, it basically shows all of the fashion pieces that she comes with and the different ways that you can style her. So it's kind of giving you a step-by-step -step guide of how to use things and pair things properly. Mix dress only idea is not part of these official looks that Mattel <laughs> wanted for her. So Mick is still gonna probably have fun with it. And it looks, they, they look cute, but it's just, the top is always the same and you have to add the jacket or without the jacket or you just put leggings. It's not really, 
I would have liked it's a not, shirt to have as an option. Yeah, it's like it's not adding like a layer of like, oh wow, she's going from a day to night, or she's doing, you know. Barbies were as drastically different, I yeah. feel. It had a bit more of a... Definitely. So we put her in her second outfit combo, and I don't know, it's not doing much for me. The outfit is a little, like, flat, I guess. Mm -hmm. The jacket's kind of like... Mm. Flimsy and... It's an oddly styled type of cardigan more than a jacket. Mm -hmm. She does come with really cool bracelets that I didn't show earlier, which I thought are really cool, like super chunky, and one's gold and one's black, which I think is really nice. And we did put the leggings on with her, and then we put her white boots which are my favorite thing of this whole set. So that's her. All right guys, so that wraps up our Barbie top model Teresa doll review. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it, comment, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on Instagram at Mick and Mike, and we'll catch you guys in our next review. Later.